Okay, how to edit a particular artboard? You come to the artboard tool. There it is. And it has enabled my artboard editing. One, I can drag an artboard out of the blue. Two, I can make a copy of an artboard. Three, I can even change the size of that particular artboard. Let's take, let's take a look at another uh, work template. Okay, this item is designed for mindset. Alright, if we want to make a copy of mindset and, and its particular content, when you press Alt and drag, while with the artboard edit tool in the board, right? I've made a copy of that artboard and all its particular content, which means I can decide to change, okay, the artwork of this particular artboard. But it that, but it does not affect the artboard, the original artboard and its particular contents. Now. The other thing is the use of artboards. How relevant are they to our work? If it's sent for exporting, I choose export as, and then I browse to green bridge projects. I browse to that particular folder. I'm going to save a JPEG, but then I'm not going to choose the artboard. And I'm going to call it Poster one. All right, and choose export. CMYK resolution. I will choose three hundred. Click OK. Okay. If we view our content, and here is the poster. You can see we it has printed everything and all the three artboards that I had in that particular document. It didn't cut off anything away from the artboard. Yet, as an artist, I may not need all that is included in the artboard as part of the design. For example, we have uh, the face of this uh, child, okay? And then we have an extra item that is cutting across the board of the artboard. Now, how do I make sure that it prints every artboard? So, if I go back to export, and then I'm going to call it Monster 2. Alright, and then I choose Use Artboards 1. I can even choose the range of artboards that I need to be printed. Okay, I can decide to say 1 to 2 only. But then I'll go ahead and choose Export. Alright. Okay, I'll go ahead and choose export. Resolution 300 CMYK color. Alright, if you browse where the content is, you can see away from this, it has created for us each artboard and its own content as per the division and border of the artboard. Okay. All right. Continuing with continuing with the add adjustments of artboards, right here we have the presets right here in the command window. In the command panel right here in the command panel we have the different presets as we show as we saw during the creation we have the different presets as we saw during the creation of the new document and then we can decide to make a particular artboard landscape or portrait okay we can decide to create a new artboard and this will depend the size of the new of the selected artboard you just click and then you come to your user inter interface workspace and then you click or you can decide to delete an artboard 
by pressing X or pressing the delete button. And then this is the name of the artboard. Okay. And then these are largely used by video editors to mark the borders, the borders where they can have a title safe. But then if you want to include your custom units, okay, you press this icon and then you choose the custom units of that particular artboard. And you can see we still have everything like we had it during the beginning when we were creating the new document. All right. 